Fasting Ramadan is one of the pillars of Islam, and it is not permissible for the Muslims to fail to fast in Ramadan. Except without valid excuse. In this video I'm going to discuss, the reasons for which one may be excused from fasting in Ramadan. And what should they do to make up for the fast they missed. Now let's start the video. The reasons for which one may be excused from fasting in Ramadan. Number 1. Sickness. The scholars have agreed that it is permissible for the sick person not to fast in Ramadan. The sick person who fears that fasting may make his sickness worse or that it will slow down his recovery or damage a part of his body, has the option of not fasting. It is makro for him to complete his fast, because that may lead to his death, so he has to be cautious and protect himself. Moreover, if the sick person is very ill, that makes it permissible for him not to fast. But if a healthy person fears difficulty or tiredness, it is not permissible for him to break his fast. Number 2. Traveling. In order to use traveling as an excuse for not fasting in Ramadan, the following conditions must be met. 1. The journey must be long enough that prayers may be shortened. 2. The traveler must not intend to settle in the place to which he travels. 3. His journey must not be for any sinful purpose, rather it should be for a sound purpose. This concession of traveling is cancelled by two things. 1. When the traveler returns home and enters his hometown, which is the place where he resides. 2. When the traveler decides to stay indefinitely, or for a lengthy period in one place, and the place is fit for settling in. Then he should pray his prayers in full and not break his fast in Ramadan. Because the rulings on travel no longer apply to him. Number 3. Pregnancy and Breastfeeding. The pregnant and breastfeeding women may break their fast in Ramadan. On the condition that they think there is a risk that they or their children may become ill or be harmed. It should be noted that it may be permissible, obligatory, or haram for a pregnant woman not to fast. 1. It is permissible for her not to fast if fasting is too difficult for her, but will not harm her. 2. It is obligatory for her not to fast if fasting will cause harm to her or her baby. 3. It is haram for her not to fast if no hardship results from her fasting. Number 4. Old Age. The same rule of sick person applies to the old person. If someone faces extreme difficulty while fasting because of old age then they don't have to fast. Now let's take a look if somebody falls under these four category, what should they do to make up for their missed fast? Allah Almighty says in the glorious Quran. O you who believe. Observing the fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may become the pious. Observing fasts for a fixed number of days. But if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number from other days. And as for those who can fast with difficulty, they have to feed a poor person for every day. But whoever does good of his own accord, it is better for him. And that your fast is better for you if only you know. Now I'll try to explain the verses. The verse is very clear that if someone misses the fast because of sickness and traveling, then they have to make up the days that they did not fast by fasting the same number of days later. Now for the people who are very sick cannot make up for the fast at all. They have to feed the poor for each day instead of fasting. And the old people fall under this same category. The elderly people who can't fast at all have to feed the poor for each day. For the pregnant and breastfeeding woman, the scholars are divided, one part of the scholars said they need to feed the poor, the other part of the scholars said they need to make up for the fast, another group said they need to do both. Now if I give you the most popular view, the most popular view is, pregnant and breastfeeding women are likened to those who are sick, and do not come under the ruling on old men who are unable to fast. Rather they come under the rule of those who are sick, so they should make up the fasts when they become able to do so, even if that is delayed. Now I'll explain in short how to feed the poor. With regard to the manner of feeding, one has the choice between giving each poor person approximately one and a half kilograms of local staple food, such as dates, rice etc. Or making food and inviting the poor to eat. This expiation may be given to one or more people at the beginning of the month or in the middle or at the end. If someone is poor and is unable to feed a poor person, then they does not have to do anything. Now let's move forward with the list. Number 5. Children. Fasting is not obligatory for young children until they reach the age of adolescence. But the parents can encourage their children to fast by giving them a gift each day. They can encourage them to pray by taking them to pray in the mosques. But they should not force them to do anything. Number 6. Insane people. People who lost their sanity doesn't need to fast until they come back to their senses. Because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. The pens have been lifted from three, from one who has lost his sanity until he comes back to his senses. From one who is sleeping until he wakes up. And from a child until he reaches the age of adolescence. Number 7. Intense hunger and thirst. 
If a person is overtaken by intense hunger or unbearable thirst, then he should break his fast and eat just as much as he needs to ward off that hunger. Then he should refrain from eating for the rest of the day, and make up for that fast later on. Number 8. Compulsion. Compulsion means one person forcing another to do something or not to do something against his will, by means of threats. So these were the reasons for which someone might be excused of fasting. I discussed some other points in the previous video, check that video for more information. I'll put the link in the description. I tried to cover as much as possible, but if I missed something or you guys want to ask some specific questions, you can do that in the comments section. Thanks for watching the video. Like share and subscribe so this video reaches to more and more people.